Danny, many congratulations. Great performance. Thank great victory over Matt Campbell, a very good player. So you must be delighted with that. Yeah, of course. Good player, good friend, on and off the hockey. Um, yeah, obviously I knew it was going to be a battle. Um, everyone knows that I follow Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And um, a lot of people weren't picking me, if any. And uh, I love being it that way. You beat Adrian Lewis here a couple of years ago. That was your big breakthrough on the big stage. Another great performance here. What is it about the Ali Pali stage that brings the best out of you? I just love performing in front of a crowd. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Um, I, I like uh, putting up good numbers, putting up big checkouts, and, and celebrating with them. So, um, you know, I'm a showman. So uh, whether I win or lose, I'm always going to have fun. And that win also preserved your chance of retaining your tour card at the end of the tournament. Still a bit of work to do, but was that plan on your mind at all coming into tonight? I know what I have to do, but that, that's one match at a time. So uh, retain my tour card, don't retain my tour card, it's one match at a time. So um, if, if I make it to the quarters, great. I know I have the game to do so. And uh, if I play like that, then everyone else needs to watch out. There's a real North American battle up there tonight. Um, you're one of five North American players playing the World Championship. That just illustrates the growth of the sport over there, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. Like, there's going to be a lot of players coming from the States and Canada to Q School uh, in Germany. Uh, so uh, I said in two, three, four years' time, we're going to have five, six, seven North Americans on the tour, and I still believe in that. The, the talent's unbelievable, and it helps me as well playing the CDC tour and coming out here and performing like that. Everything helps. And looking ahead now to round two, it's Mervyn King up next to you, a veteran of the sport. What are your thoughts on that matchup? I just got to play my game. Mervyn, obviously, if he, if he comes to play, it's going to be a tough game. Um, he's, he's a legend in my eyes. So, um, yeah, if I play my game, there's no reason why uh, I can't repeat what I did a couple of years ago and continue on. Cheers, Danny. Yeah, thanks. Danny, huge congratulations. What's it like coming back to Ali Pali again? Because you've got a special relationship with it. Do you still get those nerves and those butterflies when you see it at the top of Muswell Hill coming up? Oh, yeah, I was just telling my girl while we were riding up in the, in the Uber that, uh, you know, when you, when you get to a certain point, you look over the hills, you see all the lights and stuff. And uh, last year, I told myself while I was sitting watching this tournament that I was going to make sure I was going to be here this year. And, and I did that. Did it, did it hurt not being here last year? Yeah, obviously it hurts uh, not being here at all. It's out. It's out of It's the World Championship. It's, it's the mecca of darts. So, um, and I feel like I can, I can beat anyone. So, yeah, hurt 100%. What have you learned over the last two years about your game, the professional game, and, and everything? Yeah, it's a learning curve. Uh, you know, back in the states, you know, I'm a no, no disrespect to anyone, but I feel like I'm a I'm a big fish in a little pond, and you come over here, I'm a little fish in a big pond. So, um, for the first year, year and a half, I didn't, I wasn't comfortable. I had to adjust leaving my family. I had to adjust uh, FaceTime with my son and stuff like that, and my girl. And uh, it was tough. It was tough. But I've been playing well the last six months, and, and I told everyone that I'm I'm super confident coming into this tournament. I don't, I don't care who's in it, I'm, I'm just confident. Just touching on what you said there, do you feel that there's a huge target when you're back then when you go home and play in the CDC tour and things like that? Yeah, of course, but I, like, I, I relish in those situations, so uh, I, I don't care, you know what I mean? I, I, I played better back at home, I put up the 95 to 110 plus averages and um, it's because I'm confident and I feel like I know I'm the best player in there, no disrespect to anybody once again, but um, that, that's my attitude, and I come here. If I have that same attitude and I come here, then there's no reason why I can't put up the same numbers. You've seen the deck stacked against you in, in the past, like on many occasions over the last few years. Is there one last roll of the dice in the gambler? Oh, absolutely. This was this was special for me. Um, a lot of people seeing that uh, my girl was here, uh, my son got into a huge car accident, uh, and he was here. So th this was uh, and also my, my stepson and family and friends, my manager, like. They were all here to support me. I brought a clan with me, and uh, it, it made me even feel like I needed to throw better. So, and I did. If you keep the card, or if you win one back in future years, would you look at relocating? Is it tough to be a professional in the PDC and still live in America? It is. It is. But I've learned the last, like I said, last six months, I've learned how to adapt to it. So, with the right management, which I have now, with the right management, uh, my my support system, and my girl, and my family, and stuff like that. Uh, it can be done, and, and I've, I've shown that, and I'll continue to show it, whether I go back to Q School, retain it, or whatever the case may be, um, you'll continue to see me in the future. Thank you. Yeah, you thanks, Bill. Um, Danny, over the last couple of months... My man, what's up with you? <laughs> you the, the last can I ask you a question real quick? Can I date? Didn't you pick a cable as well? Alright, my man. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you proved me wrong. <laughs> it's alright, I like doing it. I'm picking you in the next time. <laughs> Last couple of months, form's been good. Yeah. Good over the last couple of months. It's about peaking at the right time, especially with a big tournament like this. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's, uh, 
like I, it, something just clicked and, and I was more relaxed. And when, when you're happy at home and, and you're happy with your with your life back at home, and uh, I'm, I'm going through a lot, but like I, I, I see positive, I see the future, and, and everything just just clicks. So. Um, yeah, it just makes brings the best parts out in you. Mm. Playing someone like Matt up there, you know him so well, you've played him so many times, that just an extra layer of being comfortable. Up there. Yeah, of course. Um, Matt, is, he was a favorite for a reason. They, I, I've been telling everyone all along um, that I felt like Matt was a uh, top 16, top 10 player. Um, the way I practice with him, when I watch him play, whatever the case may be, like he's so good. He's so good, and he just goes up there and doesn't care, and he just throws the darts, and they just they just fly frequently. Beautiful stroke and everything. So yeah, it was tough. It was tough, um, but it made me feel comfortable um, because I, I have that familiarity where I'm playing with him and so forth and practice him. Um, we were warming up backstage, like we, no, nothing phased us. Like we, we were, we're still friends, and we still warm up. We still do all of that. So. Um, it was tough, but it, it, it did bring the best out of it. With Merv in the next round, he's someone who's obviously in the seeding positions, but his form hasn't been the best over 12 months. Your form is on the way up, his may be on the way down. Do you feel like that's a lot closer game than some people might think? Oh, 100%. But I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the bookmakers and all them people deal with all that. Um, I hope they put me as an underdog. So um, everyone knows that if I'm an underdog, then I'm dangerous. So um, let, I get along with Merv. Uh, he's a class guy. and. Um, I'm just going to go up there and throw my guards. If I win, then great. If not, then we just got to move on, don't we? I'll go you to win, Danny. My man. <laughs>